Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17639, 17634, 17627 and 17623. These are previews for the Windows 10 version 1809 expected to release sometime in October 2018. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in these releases. Starting with build 17.639, Windows 10 introduces a number of improvements around sets, the feature that allows you to group apps, documents, and website into tabs. Starting with build 17.639, you can now drag a tab around within the set Or you can combine a tab app into a set. Also, it is now possible to use the Alt Tab keyboard shortcut to circle between open tabs. If you right click a tab, you will find additional options including close other tabs, move to new window, and close tab to the right. Using the previous tabs experience, you can now restore any type of activity. And you can now pick and choose which previous tab you want to restore, instead of just being able to restore all tabs. Also, task view will now show group of tabs in a bubble. As you can see right here, we can see a group that has more than one tab. Now the file menu includes an option to open a new tab. In addition, you can now right click a folder to find the option to open that particular folder in a new tab. Or you can use the Control T keyboard shortcut to open new tabs. In the settings app, in the multitasking page, the sets section has been updated so you can control whether pressing Alt tab shows the most recent used Windows and tabs or Windows only. And you can add apps to a list that you don't want to use tabs. Of course, you will still have the option to enable or disable sets, as you can see right here. And that's pretty much what's new on sets for Windows 10 version 1809. Now let's just continue looking at the new changes this far for the next version of Windows 10. On Focus Assist, under Automatic Rules, now you're also going to find a new When I'm at Home option, but it's currently grayed out. And if you want to add an address, so Cortana knows your location to turn on focus hours automatically, the settings app will crash. So we can test that feature right now. On devices, Bluetooth devices will now show the battery level on peripherals that support that feature. I don't have a, a Bluetooth peripheral, but I can show you a picture from Microsoft that shows how the new battery level looks like. On apps, in the advanced options page, you will now see a new battery usage section that allows you to check the app battery usage and you can manage its background policy. You can also click the uh, battery usage link that will take you to the battery settings page. Also, starting with build 17.639, the settings to adjust brightness has been removed from control panel and now you can only change these settings using the settings app. Microsoft also introduces the Cortana Show Me app which is simply an app to guide you step by step to change settings in the settings app. So this is how the app looks like. You actually need to get this from the Microsoft Store. Sound on, and if you need me to stop, just move your mouse. First, 
Select the search icon on your taskbar. Search for settings and choose it from the list. Select home to get back to all of your Windows settings. Choose system. Select power and sleep. You can save power by turning off your screen. Or, you can put your device to sleep when you're not using it. Now it's your turn. I'll leave you right here so you can set things the way you like them. If you need more help, I can show you again. The best thing about this app is that it's not actually a video, that's actually steps on Windows itself. As you can see, I can go into the step and change the settings any way I like. If I want, I can just maximize it. You can play it again or you can click or you can click the all down button to get out of the experience. Of course, that's an app that is still in progress, so at this time it's pretty limited. And on the taskbar you will notice that the processes tab now shows an icon when a process is suspended in the status column. Starting with build 17.623, Windows 10 now includes support for high efficiency image file format, which is a new image container that uses modern codecs like HEVC to improve quality, compression, and capabilities compared to earlier formats like JPEG, GIF, and PNG. You can try this new format in the latest version of the Photos app. As part of Windows 10 version 1809, Microsoft also introduces a new experience that allows you to remove external GPUs connected via Thunderbolt 3. The new experience allows you to know which apps are currently running on an external graphics processor to safely close them to prevent data loss as you disconnect the device. Similar to the changes found in the Redstone 4 development, Microsoft is introducing an updated privacy experience to help users make the right privacy choices and to prevent the company to collect additional data such as those when typing or using Windows Ink. During the upgrade process you will also find an option to turn off this feature as well as to turn off Find My Device. Remember that we're in the early days of version 1809 so these are not previews that you should be installing on your primary machine. As always, the download takes about 3 GB and anyone can get it joining the Windows Insider program. And that's pretty much all that's new on Windows 10, build 17, 639 and previous builds. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'll do thank you for viewing.